And when I tell them the way I feel, it's like they hear me, but they really not listening. They're hearing what they want to hear. They're not really listening to what I'm telling them. It's like, it's bad. I'm sad. What about in like in your personal life? I mean, not you as a as a performer in your schedule per se, but something that in your People ordinary life. People who take advantage of me. Mm -hmm. That makes me really angry. There's one subject we didn't discuss. Mm -hmm. What was that? <laughs> Everyone's talking about it. Why? Well, your breasts. <laughs> My breasts. You seem to get furious when a talk show host comes up with this <laughs> subject. Okay. Britney Spears has upset a lot of mothers in this country, starting with the wife of the governor of Maryland, who appeared at an anti-violence rally. And well, listen to what she said. Really, if I had an opportunity to to shoot Britney Spears, I think I would. Oh, that's horrible. Well, she that's really bad. Because of the example for kids and how hard it is to be a parent and keep all of this away from your kids. Well, that's really sad that she said that. Ew. You know what? Like, I'm not here to, you know, babysit her kids. Brittany's son, while in the care of a nanny, fell out of a high chair and banged his head. You took him to the doctor? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, of course. So you walked into the hospital and said he bumped his head, fell out of a high chair. And then the doctors acted really funny with me. I know, it was really bizarre. Well, how, how'd they act funny? Um, I don't want to say, but they did. Suspicious? Um, I, like I said, I don't want to say what they did or what they said. Um, but it was bad. It was really, really bad. I'm stressing out because I have a tour and these rehearsals at the same time. But and we also have a performance on Saturday. We have a performance on Saturday as well, so we're a little crazy. But. I mean, we're just limited for time, so I'm a little stressed out. Do you feel out of control in your life? No, I don't feel like it's out of control. I think it's too in control. There's no excitement. There's no, there's no passion. There's no, like, it's just like Groundhog Day every day, you know? You look even younger than 17. Is that a compliment at your age? Um, not really. The video clip we just saw, Baby One More Time, you're the naughtiest of schoolgirls, aren't you? The naughtiest of schoolgirls? Yeah, but... I have no idea. I don't remember. Yeah. The secret to happiness. No, me no memory. Right really? there. Really? The secret to happiness. No, me no memory. Right really? there. Really? Like that? I like yeah. that. And it was, again, a bad situation. And instead of the people inside of the place, like, being like, you know, um, trying to help or whatever, they wanted to take pictures as well. And I did, that's when I started crying, when I thought, you know what, you're a mom. Why are you asking to take my picture right now? And you see that I'm crying. Are you that ignorant? So that's why I cried. And the headline on that picture was, oops, number three. Exactly. I think probably the best things about being famous is just knowing that my family is forever OK. You know, financially, I'll be able to be able to support my family no matter what. And two, a three, and four. Thank you, please. Because I've just got so much choreography on my head right now. Right. I would feel so much more comfortable if you just keep it the same. I mean, I would. The thing is, Nigel said he cannot get the shot with it like that. One, and two, and three, and four. Five, no. Nah, just go over to that. Get that, just go straight into your five. One, and two, and three, and four. <laughs> Try and get that. All right. Slide. You're not going to have sex before your marriage. Right. Uh, is that a standard that is hard to live up to? Um, no, not at all. I mean, I'm 18 and I have so much of my life to, to go look forward to, you know. And I'm just wondering uh, how you feel about all the constant speculation about your virginity and whether you are a virgin or not. <laughs> I really wish I would have never said anything to begin with because I'm kind of stuck in this little place where people are always asking me. But, um, you know, that's just something that's part of growing up, and that's just something that we all have to deal with, so... Um. Have there been any changes on that front? <laughs> <laughs> that's a personal question. You got a guy right behind you. Everybody's supposed to look at each other. It's, uh, you know? it's not gonna, we're not gonna yeah, do it. Yeah. You are? Of course we are. Oh, I, I, I get scared. You gotta be ready and willing for anything to happen. But I'm scared. You've had a year that would 
test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Illness in the family. Mm -hmm. A breakup. This spasm of publicity about what happened in, from Mexico to London. It was pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah, it was a weird time. Ew, I'm embarrassed. Can we stop this? What do you think it'll take to get the paparazzi to leave you alone? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Is that one of your biggest wishes? <laughs> yeah. I would like for them to leave me alone. If you could talk to them as individuals, not as a group, what would you say to them? You have to realize that we're people and that we, need to, we just need privacy and we need our respect and, and those are things that you have to have as a human. If they're making you this miserable, how can you still say, but I'm lucky? Because I have to believe that I'm here for a reason. What's the reason? I don't know. Do you see yourself having a family when you get older? A family? Yes, definitely. In 20 years, I see myself, I don't know, around my pool with my kids running around, um, having swimming parties as I drink my margaritas with my girlfriends. <laughs> I definitely want to have a family, definitely. And what kind of parent would you want to be? I would like to be just like my mom. I would like to be just like her. She's such a, a spiritual person and such a beautiful lady.